simulation, we're going to explain simulation through examples. So here's the example. There's an experiment and there are three possible outcomes, 5, 10 and 20. And these are their corresponding probabilities. So the probability of getting 5 is 1 third, getting 10 is half, getting 20 is 1 sixth. We can simulate this by using a six-sided die. Sometimes we'll use the word die, but sometimes might say dice. Even this is plural. So then we're using a die. Die has got six possible outcomes on it. But here we only got three different outcomes so we can use this die to sort of play this game first we look at the bottom numbers 3, 2, 6 so the highest common denominator is 6 it's also the lowest common multiple of 3, 2 and 6 so we rewrite these probabilities as out of 6 so this is 2 out of 6 this is 3 out of 6, this is 1 out of 6. Then, because dice got 6 sides, so 2 sides belong to this outcome 5, 3 of them belong to 10, and 1 belong to 20. So here's the 6 sides. So if we get 1, so we can say that goes with 5, and also 2 goes with 5. Then the next three numbers, 3, three 4, 5, we say we sign with 10. Then if we get 6, then we get 20. So we can think these outcomes, 5, 10, 20, as scores. So when you throw a dice, if the number 1 or 2 comes up, then you get a score of 5. If the number comes up is 10, uh, sorry, 3, 4 or 5, then you get 10 scores. If the number comes up is 6, then you get 20. So now suppose you want to play this game a few times. So all you have to do is throw a dice a few times. Suppose you want to play this game 8 times. So you throw the dice eight times, and these were the outcomes from the dice: three, one, six, five, two, one, four, and two again. So how many scores do you get altogether? So look at the rule there. If you get score of three, you get ten points. If it's 1, you get 5. With 6, you get 20. With 5, you get 10. With 2, you only get 5. With 1, 5. 4 gives you 10. 2 gives you 5. So if we add all these numbers, so 15, 35, 45, 50, 55, 65, and 70. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you played this game 8 times and your total scores are 70. Then somebody else can play 8 times and you can see how many points they get. So when we're writing the rule, so the rule you will write from here like this. So these are the outcomes on dice, 1 or 2, and that gives you the score of 5. If the outcomes are 3, 4 or 5, that gives you a score of 10. If the outcome on dice is 6, you get 20. So this is a rule.
now we can look at another example similar to this. This time outcomes are 5, 10, 20 again, but the properties are different this time. Half for 5, 3 tenth for 10, 1 fifth for 20. Now the lowest common multiple, the lowest common denominator of 2, 10 and 5 is going to be 10. So we write all these probabilities out of 10. So this is 5 out of 10, 3 out of 10 and 2 out of 10. So the bottom number tells us how many outcomes they are going to be altogether. And because the 10 outcomes, one single dice just gives you six. But if you use the coin with it, that got two outcomes. So then two times six. So we can get twelve outcomes. So if you throw a die and a coin together, there's twelve possible outcomes. So we can write those possible outcomes here like this. So this is your die, so die. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Then we write the coin here. So the coin will have a head or tail. So it's a small table. So the number 1 on die can go with head. So that's H1. Or H2, H3, H4, like this. So this is head with the number 6 on dice. Similarly with the tail. Right, we got here 6 possible outcomes. Then we throw a die and a coin. But we only need 10. So obviously we don't need two of them, so because we're making a rule, so you can decide which two you're not going to have. So we can say, here's our cutter point, we will not have these two. This is, oops, this is head with six, and tail with six. So these two outcomes we're going to ignore. So now we make a rule. So for number 5, we need the 5 outcomes for it. So we say head 1, head 2, head 3, Head with the number 4 or head with the number 5, that's when you get a score of 5. So we've done all the top ones. 10, we need 3. So then we say tail with the number 1, tail with the number 2, then tail with the number 3, you get a score of 10. And the next two, tail 4. And tail with the number 5, that's when you get 20 scores. So this is your rule. But you also make it clear. Ignore. Head with the number 6 and the tail with the number 6. Now your rule is ready. You can play this game. Suppose when you did the experiment a few times, or played a few times, you got this. Add 2, tail 2, H6, then tail 5. So you played this game 4 times and these are the outcomes. So 
What's the total score? H2 gives you 5. T2 gives you 10. H6 ignores. T5 20. Now, if you want to play this game four times, unfortunately this was a waste, so we have to play again. Luckily, this time you got T1. So you got 10. Now your total scores 15, 35, and 45 from the four games you played. Obviously, this method wasn't very efficient because we wasted one. So if this experiment cost a lot of money and this was a waste, but we will look at that later on, how to improve situations like this.